Hey guys, it's uh, Sam for Digital Meat, and um, probably by now you're wondering why you're staring at an avatar of a man with no cock and balls to speak of. Um, and that's because in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to um, really quickly rig something up. Um, obviously, in Cinema 4D, normally you'd, uh, you know, go into your front view and go to your character joint tool and start you know, making joints for your guy, like so, and blah, 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 and all the rest of it. But um, obviously you do that, and then you'd have to wait, you'd, uh, you know, skin your mesh to your joints, and then you'd have to weight them so the creases are correct and all that kind of stuff. But I'm going to show you a really nice, fast, quick way to do it using um, Mixamo. So look. So Adobe have bought Mixamo now, and it basically lets you upload a model, and it, it auto-rigs. It takes, I don't know, all of three minutes, maybe? So, um, okay, let's let's prepare our model then. Um, this model, I actually got out of the content browser. It comes in studio somewhere. There you go, yeah. It's in the prime folder. Just the male model. You've got the female model there. So I'm just using that. Um, and these are great candidates actually because uh, um, Mixamo will accept a T pose, uh, which is good, and it will also uh, accept this kind of like letter A pose as well, which is really really good. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to export this in a format that Mixamo wants. So. Let's have a look. Let's go to store, upload, select character file or drop character file here. Okay, so you can see at the bottom here, it accepts FBX, OBJ, BVH files. Uh, I think you can zip up your textures as well for OBJs because it doesn't actually wrap it into it, whereas FBX does. So uh, if I go back to my model here, select body file. Uh, so I've I'm going to export the entire scene because there's only a minute. Go down to export, go down to FBX. It's going to ask where I want to save it and what I want to call it. So let's call this test. Save that. Right, FBX version. I've actually attempted to um, export as um, FBX 7.5, which is this year's version. And um, the Mixamo site didn't like it. It actually uh, kicked up an error saying that something's wrong. But it does work with 7.4, so if we use that, what are we going to need in here? We don't need lights, cameras, or splines. We don't need tracks because there's no animation. So we just need the normals. I mean, you can triangulate your geometry, but the FBX exporter, uh, you know, when it uploads it, it'll do that anyway. So that's fine. Uh, textures and materials. We can actually put them on our model. And when it uploads, it will be on our model. Uh, on on the Mixamo site, but we're not too bothered about that because we just want it rigged. So, I mean, if you want it up there with your textures, that's fine. You can click this button and you can embed your textures um, and then it'll wrap it up in the FBX, but you don't have to worry about that. Well, I'm not anyway. So um, yeah, that's everything I need, I think. So that should have done it. There it is on my desktop. So if we go back to the, um, uh, Mixamo site, it says select character file. So we click this upload button, it gives us this dialogue, it says select character file. It's this FBX, we're going to open that up and it's uploading. Boop, 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 boop. There we go, processing character, just a moment. Your character is processing, this should take less than half a minute. Okay. Um, just a little warning, I did actually attempt to upload this via Chrome and it sat here saying generating assets for ages and ages. So I don't know if that's a problem with Chrome or well, actually it didn't take this long last time I did it in Edge. So I don't know what's going on here. Maybe it's uh, their site. Let's try it again. So it's uploading. Yeah, brilliant. Processing character, just a moment. Should take less than half a minute. 
There we go. Beautiful. Right, for best results, have your character in a T pose and fingers spread apart. Use arrow buttons to rotate your character and have its front face forward. Well, it's already like that. He's orientated the right way. You know, he's standing up. He's facing us, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay, on this screen, we just basically need to place these markers on the relevant places so we can... Uh, um, so it, it's got some points of reference. So this is asking for its chin. So put it there. The wrists. Um, yeah, that'll do. Elbows. I'm not going to be too finicky. Um, but yeah, that'll do for his elbows. Knees. Oops, shit. Nope. That looks like his kneecap right there. Maybe a bit lower. Oh, who knows? There we go. Groin. And we've got his groin. Boom. There we go. So once you've done that, um, it will actually uh, ask you for... Um, well, it'll ask you what, you what you want. A standard skeleton. So this will basically give you... Uh, a skeleton with full fingers, I think. Then you've got three chain fingers, which is this. So you get, that's one joint, this is one joint, and that's one joint. So the actual joints, it's like a Simpsons character, pretty much. And then you've got two fingers. So you've got a thumb and the fingers there. So it's just two joints. And then none. It makes your whole hand kind of like a mitt. I'm just going to leave it at the um, standard skeleton, so I've got movement in everything, should I so wish to use use that. Um, and then we just hit next. Auto rigging. Our instant algorithm takes up to two minutes. So it's just having a little think. Calculating now. Everything should be weighted and all the rest of it. Um, this is great, because you could be sat in Cinema 4D um you know weighting your bones and uh you know making sure the placement's correct and all the rest of it whereas this just does it for you it's great for testing look at that it's absolutely brilliant um the weighting may be a bit off in places and you know but you can fix those in cinema but if you're looking to test something quick or or whatever that's a that's what you want, really. Just something to note in cinema. You notice that uh, the pivot for my my geezer is at is at world zero. So the let's have a look. Right, so you can see the pivot's right in the middle of his feet, and it's at world zero. You can actually see that he's uh, even though the pivot's at world zero, his feet are slightly lifted off the floor. So really, what we'd want to do is move him down to the floor like this, and then the move move the pivot up to zero um, like so otherwise he may have appear to be floating slightly so that's something I should have mentioned before uh, and also um, put your pivot on the floor because if it's in the middle of his body or something like that when you take it to something like unity you might jump into the floor or um, you know it's typical that you put the pivot where his feet are really so that's what you want to do so anyway here's our model you can see it working you can actually press this little skull button see the mesh you can see he's got all his fingers there it's good okay so next uh right rigging complete brilliant blah 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 you can actually click this animate button and then go grab animations off the mixmo site as well so you can um so you can take that take those uh with your character as well I'm just going to view my assets, which basically gives us a um, a link to download. So there's our character, all rigged. Um, Q download. Ask for a format. It will give you FBX or a Collada or, or whatever. Uh, I'm going to choose FBX for Unity because it comes into Cinema Fine and um, that's what Unity will like. You can choose whether you want the original pose or the or a T pose. I'm going to choose T-Pose and Q-Download. 
Let's have a little process. Okay, so it's available for downloading now. Click the download button. Okay, it's finished downloading, so I'm just going to... Uh, grab that from a downloads folder. And I'm going to actually overwrite the FBX that I created initially. Because we no longer need it. Because we've got a rigged version of it. And then in Cinema 4D, I'm just going to go to File, Merge Objects, and then it'll ask me what I want to merge, and double click on this thing here. Geometry, we don't need lights, cameras, none of that's in it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, poses, normals, blah, 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 all the rest of it. Texture material, yeah, that's fine. Just okay that. And now we've got our, we've got our lovely little fella there. As you can see, it's hovering slightly above the floor because I didn't make that pivot changer um, before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of our old body because we don't need that. Uh, and I'm hoping that it's actually retained the UVs. So when I dump this body texture back on him, yeah, it all fits nice. And you can see the joints in him there. Get a better view of it there. There you go, you see his joints. We can have a little little test. No, what do I want? You know, that's the one. Sorry about the cut there, guys. Um, Cinema 4D to um decided to have a little spac out for a moment there, but um, yeah, I just reopened the FBX and um, all is well, and we can test all is well. Sorry, the texture's not in them anymore. I um had to reimport the FBX, but um, yeah, if we grab the neck bone. We can actually rotate that. That seems to be working fine. Um, we can grab his leg or his arm or something. Let's have a look. Let's grab his, let's grab his arm. There we go. It's all weighted. In fact, let's grab his elbow. There we go. There's his forearm. Yeah, that seems to be bending in the right place. So it's all rigged up. Um, I'm probably going to use this model actually to um, take into uh, Unity on the next tutorial and um, hook this up with what we've created so far with the controller and everything and um, get it hooked up to Mechanim. So that's it. That's, that is how you get a model rigged using Mixamo. It's absolutely amazing. Really, really quick. Um, so I hope that was some help. Cheers, guys. Bye.